afternoon, everyone. This is Chaitali Bagh, Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defense Universe at India-Russia Space Dialogue 2023. The first time something like this is happening in Delhi. And I am with the man himself who has organized. Uh, from uh, He's Mr. Vaibhav Varun, Managing Director of Aviacol Group of Companies. And this specific uh, event has been, this specific dialogue has been organized in uh, collaboration and cooperation with the Russian Center, the Russian Council here. So uh, Vaibhav is uh, a young CEO with us, full of zeal, full of yeah. new ideas. And I think that is why he developed this idea, let's have an Indian space, India space space dialogue, right? So over to you, Vabhav. Tell us what made you decide to do such an event? Uh, it's a very personal connection mm -hmm. because many of the guys that you see here, for example, our chief guest was uh, Yekaterina Malsheva, who is the granddaughter of Yuri Malshe, who also accompanied uh, when Commander Rakesh Sharma into space. Now, the story goes like she was my tour guide in Moscow and now I'm a tour guide in India with this event. So she was working in Star City back when I was a student. And then when I visited, she explained me all technical faculties, uh, all demonstrations, all docking of uh, international space station simulations, etc. The university partner is Moscow Aviation Institute, also my alma mater, where I studied from. So as I said, uh, there's a very personal connection to this whole event. But more so on a larger picture, the main idea was that uh, we reflect upon the kind of cooperations we had for a good 75 years. I mean, the first satellite that was sent by India was with the help of Russian cooperation. The first man that was sent to, uh, sent to space, Indian man sent to space, was with the help of Russian cooperation. And many other, uh, there's a long list of projects. So it was quite obvious, natural to me, that we would need to do something like this. One thing that we have changed, not only it's a technical conference, we have uh, managed to gather a lot of young crowd, young students. That's always our target audience. Of course, uh, there are much more serious uh, events and conferences across the country. And uh, they are much better in terms of uh, technical discussions. But at the same time, I saw nothing happening for the young crowd because they are the ones who have to work in the future. So that was the main agenda behind organizing this event. Well, uh, we have to tell you something here. Uh, the seriousness is not at all demeaned, even not a single person, by having the students here. Why I'm telling you this? Because I recently spoke to your panelists. Um, in this channel yeah. and uh, they were very happy they were very uh, positive about you calling the students and students exchanging their ideas yes. you know during the panel discussions and they were very happy that you have involved the future generation as our prime minister has always asked that they are the fourth pillar hmm. so they were very happy about it now uh, coming back to again to this uh, dialogue the event that you're having uh, though you started it with a very personal um, thought no, that you yeah. wanted to do it yeah. but this has something more of course what exactly will be a take take back after this dialogue see uh, one thing that uh, I have personally felt uh, I've been to more than 700 800 schools at grassroots level teaching about aviation aerospace and I think that amongst young crowd there is a balance or I would rather say contrast of two very engaging things on one hand they have too much information Right. You've got media everywhere now. They're exposed to all kinds of yeah. medias, social mm. medias, news medias. Yes. And they are politically more mature. Mm. They are uh, more mature when it comes to general knowledge, for example. But on the other hand, because they have too much information, they are expert in nothing. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, they know a little bit of everything, but they tend to become less expert in something specific. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also true when it comes to science education, for example. And uh, that is the main reason why I wanted to do this event in physical mode, first of all. We have had enough uh, online events during COVID mm -hmm. and I always prefer physical events over yeah. uh, online events. That's one thing. Second, to see uh, the scientists that they want to become. You mm -hmm. know, it's not every day that you get to talk to an ISRO scientist. It's not every day that you get to talk to a lead space scientist working in Moscow. Mm -hmm. One thing seeing them on TV, one, see, one thing seeing them live to be able to ask questions. And of course, uh, we have uh, student research presentations at the end of the day, which by the way is my major takeaway and it's going to be a bigger part of the conference from the next series. That's what I want to increase that there should be, there are already uh, enough uh, G2G collaborations. I would hope for more university to university collaborations between students. So ladies and gentlemen, you see here that uh, Mr. Vaibhav has already declared that more is yet to come. <laughs> yes. And every year maybe these kind of, of conferences course. and dialogues will happen. 
that's great we will really look forward to it uh, next presently the situation that the whole situation of russia ukraine war um, how has been the equations you feel while you were planning this specific event what were the challenges you felt you experienced while planning this specific event with russia because india stands in a very neutral neutral yes. position yes. so how what are the challenges that you faced i think uh, i would sum up in a in one sentence that i am a indian passport holder mm -hmm. as long as my country doesn't have problem working with some other country i don't have a problem especially when it comes to india russia relationships they are time tested uh, spouts as as old as our independence itself yeah. right not just in the sector of space but in many other sectors be it nuclear technology be it uh, aviation be it even uh, educational institutes by the way a lot of our iits were established with the help of prominent russian scientists medicine for example mm -hmm. so as such i don't see uh, the challenge in organizing such an event of course there are these are special circumstances i get mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. but because our target audience was primarily students people who want to learn people who want to gain knowledge mm -hmm. i think uh, this the current situation makes no such big difference uh, speaking about uh, the event itself i have had great cooperation from the russian house in delhi mm -hmm. they were very welcoming right when when i initiated this idea i initiated this last year when at uh, russian film festival in india yeah so i met all the organizers i requested them that we want to do such a such a event and they took equal responsibility by the way it was not uh, it's not like okay you guys are doing taking our space nothing like that mm -hmm. they were equal participants and uh, they did everything in their capacity to make this event successful so that way no challenges it's right but well, tell me um, do you look forward to any kind of uh, student exchange or student cooperation program between the students who have come here the schools that you have got here and the gagarin cosmonaut training center from of ekaterina <clears throat> okay so uh, gctc by the way yeah. uh, it's more uh, specific campus it is usually used for training cosmonauts who go to international space station so mm -hmm. of course i don't see a direct collaboration as such immediately mm -hmm. because they need to be very mature to okay. to get there yeah. right but uh, one space that i really see there are a lot of tours sp uh, happening in the sphere of space tourism mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. people go to nasa they want to see launches now going to usa is a expensive business of course right the tickets are expensive it's a yeah. long travel yeah but a lot of uh, russian advancements in space has not been advertised in the indian market yet Mm -hmm. right and gctc can be a good starting point because you have a one to one actual not model mm -hmm. actual replica of the international space station in case that fails up this one has to be taken back mm -hmm. so you can walk inside that you have the cosmonaut training center the survival training center by the way where you learn many things how people survive in outer space suit these are training opportunities for children purely on excursion basis yeah that would of course lead them to have interest in this field and then they would pursue their studies to in whichever the country they feel good great yeah that was really great and uh, we hope we really look forward to next editions of this dialogue For sure. where we i'm sure we will have much more participation many more people coming up and many more students coming up as you say yes. thank you so much for your time webber and many many congratulations thank and best so wishes for edu for these kind of ventures thank you so much thank, thank you so, so much, much. thanks